When it comes to most video games, it is not a new thing that players must progress ahead in the game by defeating opponents at the end of each stage. In today's video, we are listing down the 10 hidden video game enemies you weren't supposed to see. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 10. Altered Vending Machine from Control AWE DLC The Altered Vending Machine is the demon that inspired many other enemies. It was found in the new AWE DLC for Control, where there's a mysterious monster hiding in rural scenery. The vending machines have an opportunity of being a strange vending machine monster, and if players shoot the right one, it jumps out to life and disappears from the picture. The shooting also provides lots of useful loot, and blowing it up can give the players some more amazing rewards. This is one of those enemies which you weren't supposed to see. But the good thing is they drop lots of currency, weapon mods, and materials. But there's also no evidence that they exist in the game or not. The only evidence that comes to mind about the altered vending machine is that it grants wishes. This might be amazing, but it doesn't allow you to hit every rectangle-shaped automotive device, which can help you in finding a living glowing red vending machine that is full of prizes. This also makes it one of the rarest and scariest enemies present in any video game. Number 9. Demon Number 44 from Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night After playing the game Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, you might have noticed one of the entries present on the in-game Demon Compendium, which was completely vacant. But the question is where was the final enemy? This is a question that many players ask and players who were ready to explore a little deeper would have discovered an extremely strange monster that they had to overthrow. Well, located in the training region, there's a single window where players can interact with it. Looking out of the window doesn't make any sense at all. But if you would have done so, you might have realized that there was more than a picture that was waiting for you. If you stand and wait for some minutes, you see a monster appearing in front of you. It basically gave you a curse if you were present in its eyesight, or if you were standing near it. Curse is like an extremely strong effect that kills everything very quickly. Number 8. Labyrinth Mole from Bloodborne Due to the Chalice Dungeon's element in Bloodborne, it's possible to access creatures and bosses that have been cut from the game. But one of the weirdest creatures, which was not a bug, and it is not a chunk of chopped content, is just a monster that many of you might not have watched because of its rarity. The Labyrinth Mole is a horrible piece of tube shaped flesh, with tentacles and a beak-like mouth that slithers out of the doors on both sides of its body. There is something unique about this monster, but the question here is why is it so rare? The thing is it's completely horrible but not as horrible as some of the other monsters available in the game. Number 7. The Night Folk from Red Dead Redemption 2 Bizarre enemies usually hide in the shadows of Red Dead Redemption 2. The game has killer robots, Bigfoots, and even some vampires. The night folk are a completely different species of creature. These magical creatures reside in the swamp northwest of the big city. If you're roaming around the swamp at night, you might meet their zombie-like ghosts, which have the ability to vanish and ambush you from behind. Their encounters are extremely terrifying. The night folk have weird chalky white skin, and you might never see them. In a game that allows you to roam around everywhere without traveling quickly, it's pretty traumatic that an entire enemy faction can be ignored easily. There's a good thing about this. The Night Folk only appears in some surprising event encounters, where you can begin an encounter without even seeing them. One of these encounters includes a woman crying out for help. As you approach ahead, she'll disclose her horrible appearance at assault. Players can even complete some strange cycles, and you can even unlock a premium in a mission, where you can drive the Night Folk off a local's land. Number 6. Killer Flowers, Cuddly Bears, and Pink Unicorns from Diablo 3 Diablo 3 was criticized for its aesthetic before it was released. The developers took those criticisms seriously and created a full bonus world that was present in pure bright colors. Whimsisher is the secret cow level of Diablo 3, and it's also full of some unique enemies. You'll have to battle with flowers, teddy bears, and pink unicorns. There's an entire slew of crazy creatures that players can slaughter, and just like the secret cow level from Diablo 2, this was a pretty great place for loot. This wasn't a silly Easter egg, but it served a helpful function for farmers. Well, later developments and updates made old fashioned. Number 5. Something truly evil from World of Horror. The world of horror revolves around bad decisions and dares you to make the worst choices. Well, summoning something truly evil is probably one of the worst options that you would have made. This unique enemy appears only when you increase its attraction by completing different in-game events. 
All these events are focused on a player's apartment complex, and by exploring the grounds, players can find clues of something truly evil. Number 4. Morgan Freeman from South Park The Fractured Butthole This is probably one of the most bizarre enemies ever seen in South Park, The Fractured Butthole. This kind of character attacks only if you ignite him too much. Morgan Freeman is working at Freeman's Tacos. The famous actor just talks to you about your destiny and helps you in learning your superpowers. To battle with him, you have to punch him down. Morgan Freeman is completely optional as far as enemies are talked about. But fighting him is pretty funny, and he has a lot of unique powers, which includes the skills to influence any player character. Number 3. Pac-Man Ghost from Wolfenstein 3D Well, one of the earliest FPS Easter eggs appeared straight from Wolfenstein 3D instead of hitting enemy soldiers and avoiding the plans of the Third Reich. You can discover a secret level deeter to a Pac-Man-themed mystery. The mystery is a recreation of the arcade classic and even comprises new enemies, which is none other than the Pac-Man ghosts. Most of the ghost colors are unique, which is why there aren't the same portraits of the four Pac-Man ghosts. They also don't display the same unique enemy aspect of the real Pac-Man ghosts, which have a slightly different AI pattern. These ghosts chase players in different levels and are completely unstoppable. Number 2. The Faker Invader from Dark Souls 2 Maldron the assassin is one of the strangest enemies to appear in a video game. Maldron is a special red invader, an AI-controlled character that is planned to appear once in a Dark Souls game. This guy spawns twice, once in Broom Tower, and then in the frozen city of Liam Lois. If players play in the two DLC areas, then they are going to meet this guy. But there's a thing that you might not know what's going to happen when you encounter him. Maldron the assassin is a unique red invader that uses a different item called a Silver Talisman. This popular item is well known to multiplayer fans of DS2. We use it to transform players into an in-game item to blend in with the environment. Players can turn into a container. Maldron uses it to broad impact, hiding and waiting for the player to drive back. When players do this, he will backstab them resulting in an instant kill. Fighting with Maldron is not an easy task. Number 1. Zombie Goombas from Dying Light Mario Homage in Dying Light is one of the weirdest Easter eggs present in any game. Created with in-game properties to mirror the side-scrolling first level of Super Mario Bros., players can parker through a first-person edition, which is completely smooth. It's completely ridiculous, but it's the enemies that are totally terrifying. The level is occupied by zombies with brown mushroom-shaped cats. These super-deformed enemies are some of the strangest innovations that you will ever see. These are also the inventions of a developer that lose all sense of reason and propriety. They're also crazy in a way of first game project and are thrown together. This is completely weird, but the gaming world actually needs these terrifying deformed simulations of famous Mario monsters. All right, that's it for today's video. But before we confess our final goodbye, please note new videos are uploaded regularly on a wide variety of gaming topics. Comment on our video to let us know what you want to see next. If you like watching our video, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.